Auntie Esther Choi, she's the queen of flavor. Uncle Roger, favorite chef. Today, we're gonna watch her make $11 ramen. Look at this ingredient. This is stuff even poor people like me can afford. Fuyo. Let's see how she make it special. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Niece and nephew, yesterday when I'm on my browser, I find this thing called incognito mode. Apparently, it means when I search for bad thing, nobody can see me. But then I look at fine print and it says this. Uncle Roger feels so tricked. Like the time my ex-wife tell me she loved me. How they call it incognito. When your internet provider like AT&T and Verizon, or even your boyfriend, girlfriend can see this through network admin. Hiya. But good thing Uncle Roger have ExpressVPN. And it's so easy to use. See, just install and press big button and now your browsing activity hidden. Do you know Netflix show you different show depending on where you live? If niece and nephew in America, Netflix US don't have house moving castle. But look at this, Uncle Roger changed location to UK and now house moving castle is on there. No matter where niece and nephew live, ExpressVPN can help you get thousand more show. Find out how you can get three month ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash Uncle Roger or click link in description box below. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm a professional chef and these are my $116 ramen ingredients. Hmm. Why when Auntie Esther filming my video, she's so dirty. But when she filmed with Epicurious, she's so professional. Look, she even dressed like Vicar. What's going on? Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a home cook and these are my $11 ramen ingredients. Mm. The exchanging ingredient. Oh. <laughs> ah! Who this guy? Why he looked like Muppet from Sesame Street? Hi, yeah. Did Bert come to life and become real boy? Very familiar with this. I got it. Ah, Maru Chan Ramen. This classic instant ramen in America. But niece and nephew, up your instant ramen game. Like Uncle Roger, I only eat into me. Or Shin Ramen. Tonkotsu Shoyu Ramen is a creamy pork bone ramen. I had a really nice piece of pork belly that I was gonna roll along with soy sauce. Everything on it's in a different language. <laughs> of course it's a different language. That food from Japan? When Uncle Roger buy pasta, I don't want to see Chinese word on it. Marin. I've used this before to make like sushi rice, I think. Dried kombu. This feels like cardboard. This is hard. At least kombu just feel like cardboard. Jamie Oliver food. Tastes like cupboard. Big difference. Emotional damage! With Daniel's recipe, I have simpler ingredients. We have instant ramen noodles, eggs, garlic, ginger, scallions, soy sauce, and sesame seeds. Mm. And a rotisserie chicken. This is like a nice gift. But this rotisserie chicken look like the saddest thing. Which Walmart you get it from? Five major components that make a really great ramen. It's the tare, which is the seasoning flavor the broth, the noodles, the toppings, and the aromatic oil. Mmm, Auntie Esther know her ramen. Fuyo, see? She know everything about food. She the perfect woman. I, I don't know how to make noodles. I'm scared about these noodles. Rose! Daniel, how Good are you? That. Never made handmade noodles before. Is there any sort of tip? Side note, every Epicurious video, they always call rosemary trout this perfect name for food consultant. Rosemary is seasoning, trout is fish. Uncle Roger gonna come up with Asian version of that. Uncle Roger gonna call my kids soy sauce tilapia. Make sure they grow up into food consultant. All right, time to get started on the ramen noodles. I've got potassium carbonate and salt that I'm just gonna throw into the water. Now I'm just gonna add this to the flour slowly. Well, nothing's exploded yet, so that's that's a good sign. Looks what, like... what can explode? I know this Japanese video, but you're making ramen, not attacking Pearl Harbor. How can explode? All right, yes, this is... I hope long enough. I'm gonna trim the ends off so it's nice and square. And I'm just gonna cut it in half so it's a little bit more manageable for me. Hiya, no, don't cut in half. If you cut in half, see, your noodle gonna be too short. The slurping, not satisfying. There we go. Oh, snap, there's so many. Okay, uh. Whoop. Whoa. Look at that. See? It's too short. You put in mouth, you won't even notice it there. And that's what my ex-wife say to me all the time also. We're gonna focus more on Auntie Esther. This home cook nephew don't know what he's doing. 
So Daniel just sent me this rotisserie chicken and there's actually a lot that- Let's see what Auntie Ron Esther can do with this depressing rotisserie chicken. So the first thing we're gonna do, pull off all the meat Good. from the chicken and separate the skin. Ah, nice idea. I think she's gonna use the bone to make her broth. Bone is classic way to make ramen broth. And then the chicken meat can be good topping. And maybe chicken skin can turn into aroma oil. Very smart Auntie Esther. I see what you're doing. Keep watching, see if Uncle Roger correct. We have three different parts of the chicken. We have our chicken meat, our skin, and then the bones. Mm, the good, good. So this is the carcass. You can see here, I'm kind of separating and dismantling the carcass. Correct, if you break bone, more flay will come out. To extract more flavor from the bones. This is ready. I'm just gonna add water to our stock. Uncle Roger loves seeing the dead chicken in that pot. Fuyo! Vegetarian niece and nephew, you missing out. See, with chicken, you can make delicious broth like this. Just kill one. Don't be pussy. Just kill one chicken. For aromatics, for the broth, we wanna build as much flavor as possible. Mm. So, to the chicken, we're just gonna. Wait, aromatic already? That a bit early. Uh, Add some of the scallion. Usually we only put aromatic in there after the broth boil for a few hours. But maybe Epicurus give them time limit, so Uncle Roger understand. Many Western cooking shows, they book studio kitchen like this, but then they only book a few hours. I don't know why, maybe they know budget. Ginger, we're just gonna give it a quick chop as well. And I like to leave the skin Ginger on good. because it's stock. Same with garlic, I'm just gonna give it a nice pound. Mmm, Auntie Esther the pounding. Uncle Roger's favorite thing to watch. Leave the skin on, throw it in the pot with the chicken, and let this go for two hours on a rolling boil. Only Isn't two hours. All right. Maybe a bit longer. But like I said, Epicurious, no budget. Tare is a seasoning liquid that goes into ramen. And that's basically what gives the salt to your ramen. And to really give this tare a great umami, we're gonna be using the chicken. <gasps> yes, for you. See, Auntie Esther also loves MSG just like Uncle Roger. That flavor packet in every pack of instant ramen. That the MSG makes shit good. That why Auntie Esther, queen of flavor. In the instant ramen noodles. Now this is like gold. I love this stuff. Uncle Roger love it too. To that, we're gonna add ginger, ginger and garlic. garlic. This will go five minutes. Make sure the seasoning packet is well incorporated. Extract some of that flavor from the garlic and ginger. Good, good. There we have it, our beautiful tare. We're gonna be using the scallions, the ginger, and the garlic to make an aromatic oil. So we're adding the oil, and then we're just gonna turn mm. this on. Medium high heat. Okay. Let that go as we mince our ginger and garlic. More pounding. Basically what I'm doing. Our ginger, I'm peeling it with a spoon. Hmm. Peel ginger with spoon. Good technique. Here is our beautiful aromatic oil. And then this is our crispy topping that's gonna give so much texture to this ramen. So I am- Nice. About Very smart idea. So Daniel sent me these eggs. And instead of just cracking the egg in the broth, we're gonna be making onsen tamago. Ooh, onsen tamago. That is egg in hot spring bath. Very nice texture, silky smooth egg. It like the better version of egg benedict. Always choose onsen tamago. Egg benedict for uncultured people. Nobody just order egg benedict for the egg. People only order egg benedict for the hollandaise sauce. If you need sauce to make your egg good, you fucked up but onsen tamago, you can have it just by itself. It's so delicious. The reason why we're doing four cups of boiling to one cup of cold is because we want that sweet spot of the temperature of 167. And then we're just gonna cover it and let this sit for 15 minutes. And let's test one out. It's always let's see. frustrating. If it does, it's very exciting. Okay, good, there's one. Don't cut to my pet nephew. I want to see Auntie Esther egg. Oh. Mm. You see how the yolk is Fuyo. semi set. And then this. This woman nailing everything except Uncle Roger. Let's see what my pet nephew getting up to. Been a couple hours. Bum -bum. Look at that. How nice does that look? It smells so good. Whatever I was smelling before, this is completely ramped up. There's like way more sweet, way more savory. Oh, and it just looks so dark and rich and thick. Dark and rich and thick. 
that Uncle Roger favorite type of woman. So if you talk rich and thick, slide into Uncle Roger DM. <laughs> While that's going, I'm going to start cutting my braised pork belly. It's like disrespectful how good that looks. It's missing a little glaze on the outside, you know? You gotta hit it with the torch. Oh no. Don't give this guy torch. Someone with this much eyebrow should not use flamethrower. You're gonna burn them off, hi -ya. I'm gonna flip these over and do the same thing. The char shoe too thick, who want to bite into this like that. Slice thinner, slice thinner. Yeah. Broth has been going for about two hours. You can see the carcass is broken down. It's starting to thicken. So we're gonna strain it through a chinois. You nice. Use a ladle to kind of push out all of that flavor. Squeeze it all out, like how my ex-wife squeezed out all my money. So we have our chicken skin. Nice. We have our chicken meat. So we're gonna fry the chicken skin. Good. If you go to a Japanese restaurant, you can even just order the skin separately. And that's Correct. the inspiration. Skin, the best part. So many health conscious people, they don't eat chicken skin because they scare cholesterol. Hi -ya. What's the point of living if you don't eat chicken skin? You call it cholesterol. Uncle Roger called it enjoying life. You hear a little sizzle. I think that's ready. I love this idea. Mm. I now want to do this at my restaurant. See that oil coming out? You can put that in aroma oil, Auntie Esther. Hope she remember. You know it's done when it kind of holds together like that. Remember that seasoning packet? I'm just gonna sprinkle it on mm. chicken skin. She double MSG her ramen. Fuyo. This woman go above and beyond two MSG packet for one dish. That's why Uncle Roger in love with her. As soon as it cools, it's like ultra, ultra crispy. And I can't resist, I'm sorry, but I gotta taste it. Mm. Nice crunch. But I think she really forget to use the oil from chicken skin. One small mistake, Auntie Esther. Nobody perfect. So Daniel sent me sesame seeds and... Sesame seed? Good topping. Plain sesame seeds doesn't have that much flavor, but once you toast it, it changes completely. Correct. Sesame has a lot of oil. In Always toast your sesame seed. Don't eat raw sesame seed. You're not baby, but... We have a scallion, which we're just gonna slice. The restaurant, we call this Sexy, sexy Scallions. scallions. See, and Uncle Roger, no. The sesame seeds that we toasted, we're just gonna grind it up into a powder. Our last two toppings are ready to go. Just cook our noodles and we're ready to assemble our ramen. Starting with our chicken, some of our crispy mixture. Nice. The crispy chicken skin. Next, I'm gonna do the egg. egg. Of course, we have our scallions. Last, Last but not, not least, least, aromatic oil. oil. Ah, a small mistake there, Auntie Esther. Plating order for ramen. You start with tare and aroma oil, and then you pour the broth in. Let the broth mix with the oil and the tare. You're not supposed to use aroma oil, like little drizzle over the ramen. That looks awesome. And this is my take on Daniel's ramen recipe. That look pretty good for you. This woman's such amazing chef. She can make two minute ramen in two hours. What Auntie Esther when she's filming with me? She's so dirty. But when she filmed with Epicurious, she looks so innocent. Hmm. And why she dressed like Vicar? <laughs> Rosemary is seasoning and then trout is fish. Not bad. Uncle Roger gonna name my kid soy sauce. <laughs> Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger gonna name my kid soy sauce tilapia. <laughs> Don't cut to Muppet Nephew. I want to see Auntie Esther egg. <laughs> Muppet Nephew. God. Right, the ramen noodle saga continues. What saga? This ramen, not Star Wars. This Muppet Nephew love talking shit. 